Good morning and welcome to Renew, a daily devotional for you. My name is Jessica D. Jean and I am a member of the College and Career Ministry. Today's devotional is entitled, What Made Nehemiah Different? And this will be coming from the book of Nehemiah, chapter 5, verses 14 and 15. And it reads, Moreover, from the time that I was appointed to be their governor and the man of Judah, from the twentieth year even unto the two and thirtieth year of Anaxerxes the king, that is, twelve years, I and my brethren have not eaten the bread of the governor. But the former governors had had been before me were chargeable unto the people. And had taken them the bread and wine, beside forty shekels of silver. Yea, even their servants bear rule over the people, but so did not I, because the fear of God. And that was Nehemiah five fourteen and 15. So Nehemiah gave up a safe and comfortable position in the palace of Persia for a difficult job that no one else wanted to take on. He oversaw the rebuilding of the walls around Jerusalem and the restoration of much of the city. He faced down opp opposition and ignored the critics who tried to derail the work and even threatened his life. In his time as the governor of Israel, he distinguished himself by the way that he treated people. Rather than taking advantage of the perks that came with his position, as those who had served him before had done, Nehemiah paid his own way. He used his position to benefit others instead of taking advantage of them. And the reason he did this was because of the way that he viewed God. Nehemiah knew that God had commanded those who had positions of authority to treat people well. Moses wrote concerning this um, to those who had Hebrew servants in time to come thou shalt not rule over him with rigor but shall fear thy god and that's leviticus twenty five forty three. the more that we recognize god's power and authority the less likely we are to misuse the power and authority given to us when we recognize that he is high and holy and sees all that we do we will strive to treat others just as he commands us to we should fear disobeying and disappointing God more than we fear anything else. And we should seek to please him at all times. And that even includes making personal sacrifices. Um, the growth principle is that our treatment of others is directly related to how we view God and how we fear God. If we are in a position of leadership, we should be careful not to try and make ourselves God, pretty much. Um, that is what tends to happen. We start thinking of ourselves, start hyping ourselves as like, oh, look at us, we're in this position. But honestly, um, we are in those positions of leadership in order to glorify God. Um, and we should use our leadership positions no matter where that is in our lives, whether that's in the church or if that's in our workplace, um, even in our homes, we should use our positions of leadership to be a light because that is your opportunity to have eyes on you and you should be representing God and what God represents and not representing ourselves. So thank you for joining us this morning for today's Renew, and I hope you have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow.